That's very cool. The, all of all of the previews are cool. You're now witnessing the peak of Roblox AI. About a month ago, I made my first video on the AI texture generator, which you know did <laughs> quite well. But what changes have been made to this AI generator? Because in this video, which was posted a month ago, right? Even I had the issues of um, and like I said before, it does lose like a great amount of detail when converted. Yeah, that. But there were also some other issues. Like for example, I think there was like a daily limit on the amount of um, you know, renderings you can do. There were limitations on what you could actually render. And look, I'm not saying that I expected this. Thing to generate me like huge <laughs> Korean right but it's like simple things like text it doesn't even try making text it just like completely avoids that entirely so let me actually quickly show you what this generator can do right and so while I'm looking for the model in the toolbox because I can't model I want to tell you just a quick story I want you to imagine yourself in this story because this will highlight the importance of this generator being good I was like you know a little kid I was like 15 like two years ago or something right I wanted to make games right but the thing is like I was 15 right I was the only person who was even interested in making any of these games and so it's like I was just restricted to just making scripts right whenever i wanted to you know add some like you know art or whatever i couldn't do it so i either had to steal from the toolbox which just made my game very unoriginal or i just didn't add the arts that i wanted at all which caused my game to just look bad and i just ended up losing motivation in the end and it sucks when that happens like i know this is just like you know a fun little story but like truly imagine spending one or two years just working passionately on a game where like you would you know like wake up early in the morning and the first thing on your mind was oh i need to what do i need to work on in the game oh i want to i need to fix this i need to add that right which then eventually just leaves because you can't do textures obviously that's a little bit of an over exaggeration but i guarantee that this thing can prevent that so let's click on this mesh right which has to be a mesh this is one of the things that hasn't changed after an entire month or no even longer because my video was made a month ago right the ai generator was made like i don't know two or three months ago so yeah if you just select the basic part it's not gonna let you it has to be a mesh part why does it have to be a mesh part i don't i don't know so yeah i can select this and i can just say like anime eyeball would you look wow if you've seen my first video on these textures then you, you know what this is gonna look like when i applied but the previews never fail to amaze me yeah i don't know if i just haven't used this feature in a while but i feel like the previews have gotten just a bit better and the other thing that i know for a fact is that remember how before i told you that like they had a daily limit for you know previews and then actually applying they still have the limit because you know roblox doesn't want people to like overload their, their servers but that limit i believe was significantly increased for everyone all right but which which one do we want uh this one looks nice this one is a bit too much. Uh, this one is cool. And this one is too similar to this one. So I'll actually, I'll go with this one. Now, I haven't showed this in the last video. So, you know, exclusive preview, but it it's still taking a while to render. I thought because it's like a just a basic sphere, it would take faster. But nope, it's the same 36 seconds. So it combined all of the eyeballs together. I mean, I that's it saved the texture though. So that's pretty cool. So I can uh, do all of these things. I can in inventory, I can export this, I'm pretty sure. That actually is really cool. I'm not sure if this was a, a feature before, but being able to to save textures as a file is pretty cool. But my main point of this video is I just want to see if this generator has gotten any better or not. Because the way AI stuff works is that it's trained on inputs, right? So for example, when it first came out, it wouldn't be as good, I would assume, right? Now, I'm not sure how Roblox actually trains its AI. Maybe it just does the model and then says, okay, no more training, this is all you get, right? Or maybe every time someone asks it for something, it improves with that request, right? Because I'm pretty sure I remember it asking me for like, oh, what did I do wrong? Like it asked me for feedback. So I would assume that this thing has gotten better. This eyeball isn't really cutting it for me though. So you know what I'll do? Let's actually try recreating the backpack that I did in the first video. All right, so I found a nice backpack model. Like, you know, this isn't the same as what we had last time, but actually really like this and i feel like this would be more challenging for the ai because there's like there's more stuff here right more pockets you know it's holding this like towel thing it has this like you know clip on here so i'm actually really interested to see how this would work out now one of the biggest strengths of the generator that i remember were that giving it simple prompts like not anime eyeball that's kind of confusing right but for example i remember telling it to make a black backpack and yeah let's just see how this will turn out that's a that's actually fire okay well this looks very identical to the backpack here like this one one to me looks a bit more realistic i could be biased like i spent a lot more time looking at this backpack than you know the one i just generated but if i actually save and apply this is the one thing i wonder it, all of them were like 36 seconds why is it 36 seconds you'd, you'd think that like simpler meshes would be applied faster like, like this backpack it has a lot more on it than like that circle bro what if it's like a roblox conspiracy that's not that bad I, I mean i guess okay yeah this 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 clip is done for i mean it has a zipper yeah it didn't have like an actual model so we just added the zipper by itself so i do believe that this has improved right like i i don't see anything like you know too significant but 
it, it is adding, you know, these like new features, right? So because like, I feel like the old version of the generator wouldn't just add the zipper unless there was like an actual model of a zipper. But then also, you know, like with that being said, it just completely had a clip here and it just put some dumb paper on it. I guess something we could do is like actually just give it a dumb prompt because I've gotten comments on the, on the last video that like, oh, but you know, the prompts were too simple. The AI is very good when you give it, you know, very custom prompt. So you know what? Fine. A gold striped backpack partially an aquarium. Is that how you spell aquarium? Yeah. So a gold striped carbon fiber backpack, which is partially an aquarium. Okay. That's very cool. The, all of all of the previews are cool. This is the one thing I dislike about this AI, bro. The previews are cool as hell, but then it's like, I don't know. They, it, they, they just don't cut it. What is that, bro? There's a, there's a bottle of, sh of something in the backpack, bro. I should start using the Roblox AI for like actual merch designs. Cause this, this looks cool. But then as always, let's ruin this by applying it. Oh wait, did you see that? It said like 30 per day or something. And then the preview is 55 per day. Yeah, they've definitely upped it up. And okay. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Once again, the, the clip is just completely forgotten about and the bottle is like merging with the, the, the thing. The textures aren't smooth at all. Like th that was one of its weaknesses before as well. Like it's it's a very instant cut, right? Like it, it doesn't seem to understand that like textures need to actually, you know, work together. Look at that. <laughs> this is a pocket, right? <laughs> but <then laughs> yeah, nah, this thing has a long way to go i'm gonna quickly script something really funny in but like i just i just want your opinion on this thing okay because here's the thing i i really like this you know uh texture generator i think it has a ton of potential i just feel like it does everything like insanely like similarly you know because the thing is like okay yeah right now they look cool and everything right and you know in the preview especially like that looks amazing people are just gonna get used to what the ai textures look like right like if I take this eyeball right now and I put it in the workspace, right? Like you can probably tell that this was AI generated, right? And even if you can't really right now, people had the same thing when, you know, AI images first came out or when even ChatGPT first came out, if we, if we want to go that early, right? So I do think Roblox really needs to add a lot more ver variety to their AI, right? Because right now, sure, you know, it's, it's a nice little, you know, fun thing. But it's gonna it's gonna suffer the same thing in the sense of like you know uh, people are just gonna recognize it as AI and then just stop you know like playing games with this feature. Although okay to be fair there is something to be said about AI in Roblox because recently like I don't know a lot of Roblox games have been like just using AI thumbnails and everything and I don't know bro like it seems to be working for them somehow which is crazy right because like again I'm all in favor of AI I love AI anyone who's like oh but AI is replacing artists. Bro, if, if this is replacing you as an artist, bro, that's uh, saying more about your artistic ability than anything. But you know, with that being said, let's see if the script works. Vector 3 expected. Got instance. What does that even mean? Does the script... The script works. Yes, look at that. Okay, well, while this is going on, if you enjoyed me ranting on about AI, because I know for a fact I did, I do think getting a silver 100,000 subscriber play button uh, would be pretty cool. So, you know, if you could just double check if you're subscribed and, you know, help me achieve that goal, I, that would be uh, <laughs> really appreciated. And yeah, quick, you know, course plug i have a course in the description blah 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 you're now witnessing the peak of roblox ai i'll make sure to you know keep on updating this you know whenever any new updates happen but for now i guess yeah to sum up it's just everything's the same bro not much has changed and as always we're back to basics thank you for watching